So you're working on your Mac, maybe browsing the web, checking your email, working in an app, and you get a notification like this one. It's got a website address here. It's not from an app. Matter of fact, it has the little Safari logo and it's got some information. Maybe a link to a news story or something like that. And maybe you keep getting these. Maybe you get them from the web, same website. Maybe you get them from multiple websites. What are these? Well, these are website notifications. A few years ago, things changed and browsers started to allow websites to send notifications like this. So while you might be used to getting apps giving you notifications like when say rendering of a video is complete or something like that, you can now get notifications from websites even if you're not at the website. So it's easy to turn these off. Let me show you how. In Safari you go to Safari Preferences and under that you go to Websites and then you click on Notifications and then you're going to see a list of all the websites that have asked you for notifications. So that's the important part here. No website can send you a notification without first asking your permission. So we can look through here and see well there's that website that was sending me that notification and sure enough it's set to allow. If it's set to allow that means that at some point it asked you for permission and you said yes. Now it's very easy to do this by accident. You can change from allow to deny or you can remove it. Removing it kind of sets it back to how it was before. So let's go and take a look at the test page here. And this test page I've got, I can have it ask for permission. This is what the permission looks like. Now you can see there's don't allow and allow. Now if you're in a rush to see something, if you're in a rush to see a news article that you've heard about, you want to read something, you want to get to something on a website, it can be very easy to just not bother to read this, see allow, don't allow, and think, well, maybe it's just uh, asking me, you know, if I've read the terms or something like that. And then you hit allow. And now that site is set to send you notifications. And I can show you here I get a notification. So if I go into Preferences here and I find that site again, I can change it. I can remove it. So if I remove it and say this time say don't allow, now I won't get a notification. It won't be able to send me one. So here I'm using buttons to do it. But a website would actually just be able to push these out to you, say if like a news story broke, or just wanted to remind you that you haven't used the website in a long while. So going through these from time to time to see what sites you allow, deny, and which sites you just want to eliminate from the list so next time you're asked. Having it set to deny is really important because uh, every time you go to the website, if it's not here, if I remove this, the next time I go to that website, it might just ask me for permission again. Having it in there set to deny means that it will not ask me again. It's just set to deny. And that's how you do that in Safari and you clean up all those notifications that are coming your way. If you're using Chrome it works in a similar way. Ask for permission looks like this. You can allow or block. And notification comes up this time with the Chrome icon. But it's the same notification. And you can go to Chrome Preferences, look for Content Settings, and that's under Advanced. And then you go to Content Settings and then you can go to Notifications and you can see the list here. And then you can click on the right and you could set it to Block which is the same as Deny or remove it from there. Firefox, this is what it looks like here when it asks for permissions. So you can allow them there. Notifications look the same except the Firefox icon. And if you want to then change it afterwards you can go to Firefox Preferences, go on Privacy and Security and then here you can look for under Permissions for Notifications, Settings. You can find it there. You can change it from Allow to Block or you could remove the website. So that's how you do it in all three browsers.